Yo guys, it's Sam, and today Apple released the second iOS 12.1 at beta to developers. Also, a new public beta is out as well, which is super exciting. And finally, there are some great changes here. It's not just like things that could be coming or that should be coming in the future. Yes, group FaceTime is still back, but first off, I gotta show you guys right away. There are some new emojis here, and there are so many good ones this time around. First off, you can see you've got this party face right here, which is cool. Uh, keep scrolling over here you've got some new ones in this row you've got one that is just totally frozen if you've ever been in that cold car ride uh, with no emoji to express yourself you now have that which is super cool there's also this one this one looks so sad like anytime anybody's using this emoji I kind of want to cry inside a little bit but it's there in iOS 12.1 there's also some weird ones though so you've got like foot emoji now which I don't like at all it's just a little bit uncomfortable for me but if you do have red hair huge news for you there are new red Red head emojis, which is crazy. I believe there's also bald emojis now, so regardless of what type of hair you might have, there's an emoji for you now, especially for redheads though. People have been dying to get their hands on redhead emojis forever, and they are in this update. There are so many good ones. Let me know down below in the comment section which new emoji is your favorite. You can actually go all the way to the end if we click on the like little light bulb. This is super cool, probably my favorite new emoji. It is now an iPhone 10. It is no longer like that old iPhone style design. Apple has updated the emoji to reflect the new era of design language for iPhones, where you got the notch, the edge-to-edge -edge display. It's a small change, but again, it's cool. And there are tons of small changes like this across the emojis, and also a lot of new ones as well. All right, next up in the change log, if you were experiencing that issue where you would plug in your iPhone to charge it, and then for some reason it wouldn't start charging unless the screen was turned on first, Apple has confirmed that there is a fix for that in this update. Now, it's interesting that they put it in iOS 12.1, just because we're not expecting this to release to everybody for another month or a month and a half or so. So I assume that Apple will include that in a public release update like 12.0.1 or 12.0.2 sometime in the very near future, maybe even later this week. So if you had issues with charging your new iPhone XS or XS Max or even an older iPhone, I heard that could be an issue as well. It should be fixed in this update and it might not be a bad idea if you really want that fixed right away to hop on the iOS 12.1 public beta. So that's what's new in iOS 12.1 beta 2. However, there are some other changes that I want to show you as well. The first one, very, very cool inside of the camera. This is an iPhone XS, an iPhone XS Max exclusive feature. You can now adjust the f-stop dynamically when you're taking a photo. You don't have to wait to do it in post. So now, uh, if I would try to put something in front of here, it's probably going to have a hard time focusing in general, but you can actually dynamically adjust the blur right now rather than waiting and having to do it after you take the photo. So it allows you to get a little bit more creative on the fly rather than having to sort of guess what the blur could look like after you take the photo. Over in settings, also new in iOS 12.1 is support for dual SIM functionality. So one physical SIM inside and an eSIM as well. If I tap on cellular right here, you can see this new tab that we've never seen on an iPhone before, add a cellular plan. If you do that, you do need a QR code or a code manually or details manually from your carrier. And as of right now, no main carriers that I know of actually support eSIM functionality, but I'm definitely looking forward to, um, I have T-Mobile, they're pretty quick to adopt new technology, to actually take out my physical SIM and just have an eSIM plan through my carrier, which is cool. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So the implementation is here as I predicted it would be. It's just not sort of totally active or usable for the vast majority of people, but it is here in its infancy. So as of right now, that is everything we know about iOS 12.1 beta 2. Lots of good changes here. I'm really excited about the new depth control inside of camera, but definitely main takeaway without question from this update is new emojis. There are some good ones here. I think Apple did a good job at per usual, and I'm always just amazed at the amount of detail that goes into some of these. Like most people, you and me are only ever going to be viewing these when you press one and it's that big. But the amount of detail here when you actually end up blowing these up is pretty incredible. So props to Apple for killing it yet again. All right, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe so you don't miss out on more Apple news in the future. For now, I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.